Hi, my name is Molly Waters and I'm with USU Extension. I'm the program manager for the USU Free Water Check Program. Today, I'm going to show you some simple steps on how to conduct your own water check at home. A water check is a useful tool for scheduling your irrigation, also for making it as efficient as possible. What it tells us with catch cup tests is that how much water is being applied and how evenly that water is being applied across the landscape. Now, the water check program uses some specialized cups like this. However, if you do not have access to these cups, I will let you know how to do your own with some simple straight-sided containers like soup cans, a ruler, and pretty much just the timer on your phone. <laughs> the first thing you need to do when conducting a catch cup test is to turn on the zone you'd like to evaluate. This allows us to go through, look for any obvious breaks or problems with your sprinkler system, and try to fix the minor things. Remember, it's a good idea to mark any problems, any major breaks, uh, items that you need to get back to later with some sort of a flag or identifying marker so that you can remember which heads had which issues. So here's an example of one of the most common issues we find in home sprinkler systems. It is the sunken and or tilted heads. It happens naturally after a sprinkler system has been installed. The soil will naturally settle and your sprinkler head will oftentimes go below the grade where it should be, and also it can have the propensity to tilt. So this is something that's easily fixed. You can come back later, dig up the head, and pack more soil underneath it, just raise it up to grade. But this is an issue that would have to be done after the water check. So go ahead and mark it with a flag or other marker. Another problem that we see is having the wrong spray pattern in a spray head. You can see with this sprinkler that we're shooting over into areas that don't necessarily need to be watered by the sprinkler. An easy way to correct this is to find a fully adjustable angle sprinkler head. A lot of sprinkler manufacturers now make heads where you can adjust the angle to nearly nothing and all the way back to about 300 degrees. Here's an example of a sprinkler head that has simply been turned the wrong direction. You can see that it should be along this curb and shooting out into the lawn in a half circle pattern. This has been turned, however, and you see this going up into the rocks where water does not need to go. So you can simply turn the sprinkler by yourself. You can use some channel locks if it's too difficult, or simply your hand. This type of break should be fairly obvious to anyone who sees it. What has happened here is that due to high pressure or perhaps worn threads on the nozzle, the nozzle has simply come completely off. All you need to do is buy a new nozzle, put it on there, and you're good to go. You can see why this is such an important break to fix right away because it's A, wasting so much water, and B, it affects the pressure in the rest of the sprinkler system. Most modern sprinkler heads are fairly easy to replace. If you need to replace the head, simply dig down into the soil until you see this extension arm. From there, hold the extension arm tight with one hand while you gently unscrew the sprinkler head. Make sure that during the process of digging and replacing the head that you don't get soil in the extension arm that can easily clog heads and create further problems for you. When you go to purchase a new sprinkler head, you should really take the old one with you. You want to be sure to get the same model and make as the ones currently in your landscape. Different manufacturers have different output rates for their sprinkler heads, so you want to keep it as consistent as possible. Once you have the head, go ahead and put it back on the extension arm. The next step in our water check is to set up the catch cup tests. We're going to be using the blue catch cups from USU Extension. And what we want to do here is lay the cups out in a grid over your sprinkler zone area. 
A simple method of doing this is to find your sprinkler heads and place a cup about a foot and a half out from a sprinkler head or perhaps three feet if you're dealing with a large rotor and then place one at the next sprinkler head. When you finish doing this for all the sprinkler heads, go back and fill in in between. This is what we call add a head between a head spacing. Here's our catch cup test set up and ready to go. Remember, at home you can also use any straight sided container like a soup can or like a milk carton. We've gone ahead and turned on the sprinkler zone that we'd like to test. Now, when you're doing it at home with a straight sided container and a ruler, you want to time how long it takes for those containers to gather approximately a half an inch of water. That's how you will determine how many minutes to run your system to apply a half an inch of water. Once your containers have reached about a half an inch of water, you want to turn off the irrigation system and write down how many minutes it took. Once you've determined how long it takes your sprinkler system to apply a half an inch of water, that's the amount of time you want to run that zone every time you water. The only thing that will change there is the number of days between watering events. This is influenced by local weather conditions and there are several websites where you can get recommendations on how many times that week you should be watering. Let's say you've determined 15 minutes is the amount of time you need to water to apply a half an inch. At that point, you want to take in other landscape considerations. Things like slope or heavy soils will impact how long it takes the water to infiltrate into the soil and down deep into your root system. We recommend breaking up your total run time, which is 15 minutes, into two or three shorter run times. Let's say it's 15 minutes, we break it up into three sessions of five minutes a piece. You want to allow time to soak between these cycles, but this is really the best way to drive water deeper into your root system. Now that you're familiar with the water check process, we encourage you to try these steps on your own home lawn. Many counties in Utah offer a water check as a free service, so visit the website or call to request that we come do it for you.